Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, let's continue on. Back to our site. So after that Skyrim realistic overhaul with the torrent client, this this next set should be fairly straightforward. So let's go enhance lights on FX, which is uh, creates a more realistic mood to the lights. Adding lights to all light sources and removing any light without a source, in addition to smoke and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and go there. So we're after the version 2.0 and also some optional files. So let's go ahead and go to the files section. And let's see, what do we want here? 2.0. Looks like we have a beta here. Okay, there is it. That's the one we want. Enhanced lights and FX. Goodness, there's a bunch of beta files up here. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Make that a little more confusing. Um, okay, so we should be getting that. Looks like that's coming in, so very nice. So while that's going, let's go ahead and grab the optionals, the Elf, Elfx Dawnguard, Elfx Dragonborn, and Smim Meshes. So there's three files we need. So Smim Message, Dawnguard, Dragonborn, all three of these. Let's grab them. One, two, three. So let's see, those should be coming. Yep, there you go. It's quick and easy. All right, all right, so starting with enhanced lights and effects, which is the main file. I think we have some instructions here. Okay, so main file, core files, and we want the ELFX exteriors. Check. I guess we're not gonna do the enhancer. So okay, go next. Patches, no patches. And next, nothing here, so go ahead and install. Okay, I'll turn that on. Should have an ESP, yeah, a couple of them, which is fine. Okay, let's continue on. We just did the enhanced lights. I don't know if there's any necessarily order that we need to do this in. We do have some special instructions here. Let's get these installed first though. Let's go Dawnguard, Dragonborn, Smim. We'll just do it in the order he's got it listed, although I don't think it matters. So Dawnguard first. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's right click on the data directory, set the directory. And hit OK. Let's rename it. This was Dawnguard. Okay, same thing for Dragonborn. Oh, data directory. And go ahead and hit OK. And we'll rename it and we'll see, call, call it Dragonborn. Dragonborn. OK. Turn those on. good to me. And then finally we'll do the SMIM. And this has a another faux mod, so we'll take a look at that. So expand those. Alright, stop turning off my thing. I need to see this, please. So core files and SMIM lanterns we're going to turn on. Looks good and install. And we'll rename it to SMIM. Okay. And turn that on. All right, there you go, guys. Looks good. We have an error here. That's nothing important. Yeah, okay. Okay, we did have some special instructions. Um, after inst installation, remove the following folders and meshes, architecture, window, and window, and throw feather. Okay, so go back to mod organizer. Okay, guys, so what we want to do is go to enhanced lights and effects and double click on that. Um, then I want to go to file tree. And what did he say? Then we're going to remove meshes, architecture, wind home. Okay, let's see if we can figure that out. Meshes, architecture, 
wind home. Matches architecture wind home. WHL and then NELF, okay. Okay, we're looking for the file WH land dead two. This one right here. I'm gonna right click and delete that. Okay, close that. There you go. Should be good. Okay guys. Let's pull the web page back over here so I can see what I'm doing. Alright. So I think we're done with enhanced lights and FX. So very good. We've done that. We've installed the optional files. We're good. So let's go back to Project Parallax Remastered. Go to the files. And let's see. Version 1.3. We want the Project Parallax SRO optional plus SMIM bridge update. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the SMIM bridge update. Oh, that is just not clear. Project Parallax SRO optional. Okay, let's find that. Okay, there is. Uh, I presume this is it. Version 1.3 for. Skyrim Realistic Overhaul Users, which is the equivalent of this file. So let's go ahead and download that. And then we also want the SMIM bridge update. SMIM bridge update. Okay, looks like that's the one right there. Okay, I'm going to close that because it's starting to, to affect my, my browser. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. This is going to take a minute, guys. So, um, Project Parallax, guys. Parallax mapping is similar to bump mapping or um, normal maps in that it takes a flat texture and it makes it look like it has three-dimensional depth. Um, when the lighting hits it, it'll make it appear like there's there's more detail than there, than there really is. It's kind of a, a clever technique in, in that the graphics card doesn't have to draw any more more vertices. It could draw a f very few vertices, but you still get a 3D effect on it. Kind of the classic case is like a brick wall where the entire wall is only four vertices, but it looks like the bricks have individual ins and outs to them. And parallax mapping is a similar idea to that. A little more complex, but that's the, the purpose. Okay, so it looks like we're, we should be done here. So let's go ahead and install that. Go to the data file. Set that. Let's see if there's any special instructions we got here. Do not install the following files and folders. SRO optional. Okay, so this is the optional stuff. All right, so there's several files here. Looks like it's the same kind of deal. I'm going to grab this page again, and I'm going to push it over here to the other screen. Okay, guys, so meshes, architecture, solitude. Uh, S Blue Palace Entrance, S Blue Palace Entrance, this one right here we're going to turn off, oh boy this is, and we're going to go down to Windhelm, Windhelm Dock Door Trim, so he's turning off specific files, I guess these apparently have problems, Windhelm Short Tower, Down Windhelm Short Tower. Oh, there it is. Yep, I just wasn't seeing it. Okay, and WH Statue Talos 02. WH Statue Talos 02. That's the one. Let's pull this back over. So there's the ones we just turned off. Uh, there's no other special instructions, so let's go ahead and say okay. Okay, and we'll turn that on. So there's your parallax stuff. Very nice. What else we got? So we should have another download that we did. There it is, the bridge update. Manual installation. Uh, there's no data folder. Let's try this one. That looks like the one. Okay, hit OK. And we'll rename this SMIM. 
and hit OK. Okay. Okay. This has got a, because it's a patch up to this thing, it's an optional file. I'm just going to turn this off. Let's say ignore update. Don't need to worry about that. Okay. Some of these have gotten pretty, to be pretty complex. It's like, I really only have installed two mods so far. Let's go to Relighting Skyrim. This has got an alternate download location. He's only doing a subset of, of the files. Okay. So that's why it's in a different spot. So we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, let's go to Mod Organizer. We'll hit the, the manual installation button and Relighting Skyrim. So tailored for ELF, that's the one we want. And manual. And again, it doesn't look like it's packaged right, so we'll go to that. And I don't think there's any special instructions we need. Doesn't look like it. So hit OK. Okay guys, that was more or less easy enough. Let's continue on. I'd like to get a, at least three or maybe three more installed at least, depending on how fast it goes. So we'll, we'll go into the clutter and miscellaneous section and we'll, we'll do animated clutter, which adds some opening and closing animations. Nothing particularly tricky about this. There should only just be the one file. We'll go ahead and install. Make sure we're using the right version, 1.9. Okay, there you go guys, we've got the animated clutter, let's go ahead and extract that. Looks like we've got some instructions. Oh boy, a lot of instructions. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's bring it up. Animated clutter. So, next. Custom. Next. Third page, here we go. So, beehive, spider sack, spider sack, albino. Uh, looks like we made all five of these. Doors. Five of those. Looks like there's five of these, so we'll do that. Falmer chests. Just Falmer chests. Miscellaneous containers. Okay, this thing's getting a little bit down here. Okay. Miscellaneous containers. Burial urn, common barrel, convector, dresser, chest, knapsack, noble chest, work in table, sacks closed, sacks opened, satchel, uh, metal barrels, drone box, thief skills, wall cage, bookcase, driver. So basically all of them. Um, all three of these. Ship trap doors only, and then all four of those. So most of everything. We missed a couple of things, but that's okay. Get to back up to the top. All right, no worries. So both of these, and install. All right, very nice guys. Let's turn that on. Doesn't look like it has its own uh, ESP, so it looks like we're good there. Let's go ahead and collapse that, because it's big. All right, Baron's lost glory. Baron, what's his face's glory? So it's basically a gemstone fix. Looking for version 2.0. 2.0. Probably just, well, maybe not. Oh, we've got a bunch of old versions, I don't care. So download this. Let's see how we're doing here. Let that download. Doesn't seem like it should be that big of a file. We're just replacing some gemstones, but. Okay. Let's install that. Again, we've got a faux mod. Okay. So, desaturated ground textures 1k. Uh, Gamwich Jewelry End Box Texture. There's a, there's a typo in there somewhere. 2K. And Gem Texture Options Original. Install. Very nice. 
I'll go ahead and turn that on. I like these because they don't have ESPs. <laughs> All right. So very good. Let's collapse that. Better shaped tower statue with great sword. So this has got a Bane installer. Looks like we got some optional files. Let's head over there and see what it looks like. Okay, with the NSUTR patch. No snow under the roof. I guess that's the one we're going to use, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's grab that. And let's see how we're doing. Looks like it's just about ready. Or no, looks like it's had not started yet. There we go. And install. Okay, there's our Bane package installer. So we're looking for HP plus Nord Hero. HP plus Nord Hero, 33. I think that's the one we want. Uh -huh. so looks good. And hit OK. There you go, that's what you want. Okay, let's turn that on. Come on, turn on. Version 1.2, 1.2 Alpha. You're kidding. Ignore that. So we'll ignore that update. It's obviously not right. Okay, guys, I think I want to stop installing mods at this point. So um, let's go ahead and run loot. Although I should turn off those extra mods. It doesn't matter, actually. So, nine messages are up to now. Yeah, we're starting to get some um, ITM records. That's all right. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort. And apply. And close. Looks good. Let's see, let's check our errors here. We're missing masters. There are files in your overwrite mod. That's all expected. Let's turn off our missing masters. There's three of them. That should. I wonder if that'll update automatically. Yep. Looks like it does. Cool. Okay. So let's flip over to SKSE. Let's run that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, guys. So there you go. We actually seem to have come up on our frames per second a little bit. I'm sitting around 45 to 55, which is good. Although I'm at a bit of a loss to explain why that should be. Um, but whatever. Okay. So... I don't know if anything that we installed in those last set of videos is going to be immediately obvious, um, unless we go run out and find a statue of Talos somewhere. Um, I can't think of anything we could do at this point um, to check any of those, but I won't go into the mine. I'll kill this guy because. Now, is this a surprise? I find it amusing to kill that guy over and over again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, still see me. Looks pretty good. So I think we're doing well, guys. No, no complaints. Um, the frames per second are they're not doing too bad, really. Um, it's you know it's when I get to a complex scene like that where I'm showing a lot of a lot of vegetation and you know distant stuff in the background that's where it's starting to get down around 40. Um, I turn around and not so much with the vegetation. It's more like it's max out at 60 right there, 50 to 60. Still, I would think with my video cards, I should be getting better numbers than that. I wonder if it's the recording that's causing that. But that's kind of nice, isn't it? But yeah. Anyway. Okay, guys. 
Um, pretty good. Let's go ahead and quit out of here. I'm pretty pleased. Seems like we're, we're making progress. So we'll stop here and we'll pick this up in the next video and um, we'll continue on. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.